Writing Course Development for English 116 Students. Unit 1. A Journey. Unit 1. A Journey. Objectives. After completing this unit, students will be able to identify important parts of a sentence. Learn how to use conjunctions in order to join sentences. And write guided paragraphs. Unit 1. What is a sentence? A sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop, a question mark, or an exclamation mark. It always has a verb. For example, my cousin works in the Ministry of Education. Here we have a sentence and it begins with a capital letter. And it is ending with a full stop. It could also end with a question mark or exclamation mark depending on how the sentence is written. How can we join sentences? Well, we can join two sentences using words like and or but, also known as conjunctions. What is a guided paragraph? It is a paragraph which contains a number of sentences. It is very important that it is noted here that a paragraph contains more than one sentence. For example, Musa visited some markets and mosques in Istanbul. Here we see the conjunction AND joining two ideas in a sentence. We also have Walid and Rudy visited the ruins in Petra. Here we have AND joining Walid and Rudy. Now I want you to think of other places that people visit on holidays and write them below. Now. Let's take a look at a guided paragraph. Complete the given paragraph with the helpful words given below. It is worth noting that these helpful words are there for you to use, but you may not use all of them. Let's take a look at each one. We have go, like, not like, which is negative. We have the verb be, return, decide, fly, arrive, leave, stay, and spend. It is very important that you decide which blank below that each of these words would go into. You may not use all of them. We will now begin the guided paragraph. I'll read it for you. Last summer, my friend and I went to visit India. Went is a verb. Now, why did you use went? Well, Last summer is in the past, so you also need a verb that is in the past. Next sentence. We flew to Doha at 11 o'clock in the evening, and we arrived in Bombay at 5.30 in the morning. We liked Bombay very much, and we stayed there for a week. I went shopping in the markets almost every day. Next. We went to Delhi. But we did not like it very much. It was hot and noisy. We left the next day and went to Kashmir. We stayed five days there. It was very cool and green. Then we returned to Delhi, and the next day we went to Dubai. Finally, we arrived in Doha after a long but very interesting trip. Sentence building. Make sentences from the groups of words below and write them in the table. The table will be on the next slide. As you can see, we have a few sentences here and they are all out of order. Let's go to the next slide where we will put these sentences in order. So, in this example, each sentence will have a who, verb, where, and when completing the sentence. Let's begin with example A. Musa flew to Kuwait on Sunday. Let's look at example B. Nadia went to London last summer. Let's look at example C. My uncle visited Cyprus in 1985. Let's look at example D. My parents arrived there on Tuesday. Let's look at example E. 
Salem returned to Jeddah after three weeks. Let's look at example F. I drove to the coast last year. Assignments and activities. Put the capital letters and full stops in the following sentences. Muhammad flew to Athens last Thursday. Well, Muhammad, this is a name. Flew to Athens. This is a place. What else are we missing? A full stop. Let's look at B. Salem. Always capitalize the beginning of sentences and names. Spent a week in Libya. Always capitalize the names of countries. Last February. Always capitalize the month, day, or day of the year. Let's end with a full stop. Let's look at example C. The beginning of the sentence always is capitalized. They arrived in Beirut, this is the name, of a city on Wednesday morning. This is the name of a day of the week. It should be capitalized. We are missing a full stop. Now, I want you to write a paragraph about a trip that you have made or someone you know has made by car, bus, or plane. Draw a plan of your journey, as we have learned in class. Where did you go? When? How long did you stay in each place? And what did you do there? Joining sentences with end. For example, Hussein drove to Riyadh. He spent the night in a hotel. Hussein drove to Riyadh and he spent the night in the hotel. Let's do the same thing for here. Layla flew to Amman and, small s, she stayed there for one week. The businessman left Rome at 8 o'clock. Remove the full stop and, small t, lowercase t, they arrived in Damascus at 11.30. I visited Dubai last year. Remove the full stop and, I went shopping in the market every morning after breakfast. I is always capitalized when it's by itself. Let's look at the last example. Magdi took the train to Aswan. And he, lowercase h, spent a few days there with his relatives.